you guys excited? Are you guys excited? Hey guys, so I just finished filming um, this makeup look and it's really dramatic. Uh, I'm sorry if there's like a line across my face because the sun is out right now. Um, this is a really pretty nighttime look and I wouldn't wear it during the day just because it's really, really, really dramatic. And um, yeah, but it's really pretty. I really like the contrast between the black and the pink, like dark color and a um, bright pink color. If you don't like pink, you can, you can substitute it for any other color that you want. And it's really pretty. I really like it. I like how it turned out. And I think that's it. That's all I want to say. And thank you guys so much for watching. Comment and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Um, I will start the tutorial right now. I'm sorry if this bright, bright green sweat sweater is, like, throwing you off. But, yeah. I will see you in my next video. Comment and subscribe. Bye. Hey, guys. So, I've already done this eye, and I will show you how to do it on the other eye. So, the first thing that you want to do is primer light, of course. So, I'm just going to be using the e.l.f. Eye Primer. Um, I don't really know where my mineral eye primer by e.l.f. is, so I'm just going to use the regular one. You can buy this for a dollar online at elfcosmetics.com. So if you want to go do that, I really love this primer. It's really affordable. It's like a dollar. Okay, so just primer lit and then prime down here as well. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to get a pink base color. And you can use a cream eyeshadow like this one. Um, this is also by e.l.f. and it is the duo cream eyeshadow. Um, you could also use a uh, NYX jum Jumbo pencil and this is what they look like. Um, it's just a cream, any cream eyeshadow. If you have a cream colored pink base, you just need a pink base. And I'm just going to use this all-in-one by LA Color. It's just a really pretty pink color. So we just want to put that over in the first third of your eye. And use your finger just to blend it out. You want to go right here and then down. Okay, so after you are done with that, you're going to take a brush and it is the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, so it's basically an all-over kind of a brush. So we're just going to be taking that um, really pink, bright pink color. It's really pretty. Um, you can substitute it for any bright color that you have. So what you want to do is you want to put that where you put that really pretty pink color as well. Um, you want to build the color, so um, just pack on that color. So you want to also put that down here as well. You can use a flatter brush for it so it could be more precise if you would like. Okay, just like that. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to take a black um, base. If you have a cream eyeshadow, I see you can use that. Um, I'm just going to be using this one by e.l.f. and it is in black licorice. I'm just going to be taking another e.l.f. brush and this is um, the defining eye brush. And I like this one because it is angled and it's easier to maneuver around. So we get that kind of sharp edge. So I'm just going to dip it in there. And then just kind of outline where you want your eyeshadows to be and then fill it in. Brush the all over kind of brush looking. That looks like that. It's black because I used it. And I'm just going to be taking a black and I'm going to use the black in the Wet n Wild. Um, blue had me at hello one. So that definer brush, or that definer color. And you can use any black that you have. You don't really necessarily need to have the palette that I have. So you're just going to want to pack that on the black color as well. And I love using bases because it makes the eyeshadow stand out more and it makes it last a little a little bit longer than it usually would because you also have the primer underneath. You can also just not have the primer underneath and then just go with just the base. 
if you would like. Next I'm going to be taking the black contour brush that I have that I always use and this is just to make it a little bit more um, defined. Go in with the same black. And then what you want to do is you want to do and you want to go in circular motions. I'm blowing that out. Okay. So once you're done with that, next you just want to line your lid and um, I'm just going to be using the CoverGirl Liquid Lush Blend that looks like that. You can see. You just need a really, really thin line. You don't need a thick one. You line your waterline at the bottom. After you're done with that, you're going to take a, an eyeliner brush. I'm just going to be using the e.l.f. one, and that's what it looks like. You're going to take it, and you're going to go in with that same black color that you used. Then you're going to line the bottom lash line with the black. Okay. So next what you want to do, because that line is so dark, you want to take a clean brush, and I'm just using this Forever 21 one, and you just want to kind of smudge it. I think that's the word. When you're done with that, you're going to take your highlighter color, and I'm just using um, Heaven from my Too Faced um, palette. I really like this color. It's really pretty on my skin tone. You can use anyone that's closest to your skin color. And you're going to put that up here. And you're going to just blend that black and that highlight color kind of together so it doesn't create a harsh edge. And you want to put on your mascara. Make sure you curl your lashes as well. I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm just going to use the Mark Scandalash um, Hookup Mascara. That's what it looks like. It's um, brown. It's a brown color and it's not black. You can also put fake lashes if you want. Um, I'm not really big on fake lashes, so if you want to go ahead and do that, you could. Okay, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Come and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!